dear school. Dear school. Dear school. How are you? It's been seven weeks since we saw you last. Are you coping okay without her? We didn't know how much you meant to us, but we're coming to realise that we kind of miss you. Well, bits of you. We miss the atmosphere and drama, last period on a Friday, as we steal the teacher's spinny chair and dust floats in the air underneath the stage lights. We miss the bell ringing, allowing us to leave. Or sit gossiping with our friends on the Astro. Or chat loudly and quickly as we pass them in the corridors. We miss Tom's rants about the latest TV shows and Ella's obsession with music and Maya who always has the gossip. We even miss arguing with that one person. They know who they are. It's the sort of banter that you can have with your friends that you just can't have with your parents. We don't miss getting up at 6am and still having to rush to make it in for first period after fighting our way off a packed bus or train with three bags in hand and a fresh sprinkling of Glasgow's finest weather dripping from our noses. Or wearing the uniform on the one hot day we get, making us feel sticky as macaroni from the cafeteria. Why is the heating always on in the summer, but never in the winter? We don't miss having to wrestle past everyone in the corridor just to get to our classes. It's chaos sometimes, and when we do make it, we find that the teacher has misplaced the work we've slogged over for days. Teachers, they're not all bad. Yes, there are the ones who demand respect just because they're adults or look at us with complete disdain, but there are also some good ones. The ones who let us stay behind in their space and let us do our thing with just the gentle hum of the radio for company even when they're not supposed to. Or the socially awkward maths teacher who goes out of their way to make sure you're alright after you've had a run-in with the people who make your life hell, just because they can. We're wondering how our teachers are coping in all of this. We know some haven't been well, whilst others haven't been offline. We don't miss their deadlines, past papers, exam pressure, worries, constant stress and overwhelming workloads. But now we're worried that we haven't done enough. Or that we're falling behind and we'll have to double the workload and double the stress trying to catch up. Will our teachers mark us fairly? Or will our prelim results affect our futures? What does the future hold? Some of us have already finished school. We won't get the chance to say goodbye. To have a prom or jump one last time when the bell rings. Is this it? We miss feeling like rebels with our own small victories. Sneaking into school late. Sneaking lunch out of the cafeteria, sneaking notes to your pals during class without getting caught. We miss our favourite departments, the after-school clubs, and feeling like we belong. We feel useless at home. School gave us purpose. We hope it's not too different for those of us that get to go back, but we know it won't be easy. How do you maintain social distancing in a classroom of 28 pupils? Will things ever be normal again? And do I still have to hand in that book report that's due in February? Change is coming. Hopefully soon it will be time for new experiences and meeting new people. Until then, stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. What the government think we're doing? This is what we're actually doing. Swimming.
how to bake a coffee cake. Turn on your oven and collect your ingredients. Oops. Measure all your ingredients into the bowl. Divide into two tins and bake. Take the cakes out and leave them to cool. Make the icing, then decorate. Welcome to my five step plan where I shall be showing how to make pancakes. First step is gather your equipment. Frying pan, layer, spoon, large bowl, small bowl or cup. Next, you should add your dry ingredients. These are 150 grams of flour, a pinch of salt, and 40 grams of castor sugar. Then just mix them up until they're nice and mixed. Next up, your wet ingredients. Now, for this, you should add two eggs and 75 grams of milk. Weigh the milk in this other smaller bowl or cup. Then just add it to your mixture and give it a good mix. Once you've finished mixing your bowl, make sure to not mix it too much because that'll make rubbery pancakes. Clear your pan. And once you've finished doing that, add a dash of oil perhaps. We've got to take a mixture from here. Now, once it starts bubbling at the top, that's when you used to flip it over. After that, wait for the same amount of time and flip it onto a towel, but you wrap it up to keep them warm. And now, as the final step, you eat them. I've been using maths to measure out my ingredients. I use my home economic skills to bake them safely. And finally, I use my art and design skills to decorate the cake. Using what I learnt in home ec to make dinner. Hopefully I don't burn it. Two hours. 43 minutes and 30 seconds until dinner. Health and well-being. Today, I'm going to teach you how to tackle in five easy steps. Step one is find yourself a volunteer. Now, step two is known as foot in the hoop, and it involves getting your foot really close to your partner. So we can lead on to step three, which is to crouch, get really low, 
so that this makes step four, wrapping, so much easier. Now, step five is putting all of these together. So, learning to play the guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to my master class. Today I'm going to teach you how to make techno music using Ableton Live 10. Whether you want to make a wee tune of your own or simply remix one of your favourite songs. I'll show you how to do it in five easy steps. Let's go. Step five, the final step, creating the perfect sound. Now this process can take anywhere up from a couple of hours to a couple of weeks. You can just lose track of yourself trying to do this. So what you want to do now is go into the audio effects tab. Don't worry, I don't know what they mean either, so it's alright. I've not got a clue what I'm doing. But I'm enjoying it though. Now here on my melody you can see I've added a compressor and an EQ8. Now what a compressor does is it helps to keep the volume below a certain level so it doesn't get too high and you get a nice clean sound. Now, that might not be exactly right, but it makes me sound like I know what I'm talking about, so just keep adding effects and adding effects until you get that perfect sound you're looking for. Sometimes I get a wee bit carried away and I just keep going for hours and hours. What time is that now? Midnight? Right, let's hear how it sounds. Oh, it's terrible! Now at this point you might be tempted to gear up, but don't gear up, stick with it and you could end up with a wee masterpiece that sounds something like this. Not too bad for somebody that doesn't have a clue what they're doing eh? And that concludes our masterclass. Nearly done 10,000 steps. <laughs>